Today we're going to be showing you three ways to install WordPress plugins on your site so you can add new features like contact forms, slideshows, shopping carts, and more so you can start growing your site and building your business. So here's what's coming up in this video. First, we'll show you how to install a plugin using the WordPress plugin search feature. Next, you'll learn how to upload them directly through your admin area. And finally, we're going to show you how to install plugins using an FTP client. Now, as a bonus, we've included resources that answer the most common questions about WordPress plugins. So stick around and be sure to check out the links that we've left in the description. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and be part of the conversation. Now, before we get started, if you're using WordPress.com, you cannot install plugins unless you upgrade to their business plan. So if you don't see the plugins menu on your WordPress dashboard, it's because you are using WordPress.com. Now, what we're going to be showing you today is for a self-hosted installation of WordPress using WordPress.org. Now, for a self-hosted site, you can install any plugin that you like. If you'd like to know more about the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, or if you'd like to switch from WordPress.com to a self-hosted site, be sure to check out the links in the description. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. First, we're going to be talking about installing a plugin using the WordPress search option. Now, the easiest way of installing a WordPress plugin is to use the plugin search feature. Just keep in mind that this first method only allows you to install the free plugins that are found within the WordPress plugin directory. To use this option, log into your WordPress dashboard. Then on the admin sidebar, hover your mouse over plugins and then click add new. Now in the search bar on this page, type in the name of the plugin that you'd like to install. Today we're going to search for WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin. Next, we're going to click the Install Now button. WordPress will automatically download and install the plugin for you. Now once the installation has finished, all you need to do is click on the Activate button to begin using the plugin on your site. And that's all there is to it. You've successfully installed your first WordPress plugin. Now keep in mind that every plugin is different, so we will not be covering plugin configurations in this video. Next, we'll show you how to install a plugin using the WordPress admin area. Plugins purchased from third parties can't be installed using the search bar method that we just mentioned. Once you've purchased a premium plugin and download the zip file to your computer, you'll need to go to your WordPress admin area and then navigate to plugins and then click Add New. Now after that, click on the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. Now you'll need to click on the Choose File button and select the plugin file that you downloaded earlier. Once you've selected a file, click on the Install Now button. WordPress will now upload the file and install it for you. All you have to do is just click the Activate Plugin button. And as we mentioned earlier, since settings vary for each plugin, you'll need to configure them to suit your own needs. Now we'll talk about manually installing a WordPress plugin using an FTP client. Now in some rare cases, your WordPress hosting provider may have file restrictions limiting your ability to install a plugin from your admin area like the two methods that we've just covered. So the best solution is to install the plugin manually using FTP. FTP is simply an abbreviation for File Transfer Protocol. Now there are several FTP programs available for download, but for this tutorial we're going to be using FileZilla, a free FTP client that makes transferring your files to your WordPress site easy. Keep in mind that using an FTP client of any kind to upload and install your plugins to your site isn't beginner friendly. Now today we're going to be using a plugin file that we've downloaded from Monster Insights. Now once you've downloaded your file, you'll need to extract the zip file to your computer, which is going to create a new file with the same name. To upload the file to your site, you'll first need to open your FTP client on your computer and connect it to your website using the login credentials your web host provides. Now once it's connected, you'll need to navigate to WP content forward slash plugins. Then upload the folder that you've extracted from the zip file to the WP content plugins folder on your web server. Now, once the upload's complete, just go back to your WordPress admin sidebar and you'll see the plugin has been successfully installed on your plugins page. If you don't see it, just try refreshing the page. Now, once you locate the plugin in the list, you'll just need to activate it. And as we've noted before, you may need to configure plugin settings. Now, as a bonus, we've left links in the description about common questions about plugins, like is there a list of essential WordPress plugins to use? And how many WordPress plugins can I install on my site? How do I choose the best plugin? What's the difference between active and inactive plugins? 
Should I delete inactive plugins? And how to uninstall WordPress plugins? So be sure to check out those links. Now, don't miss the opportunity to get a special discount on Monster Insights. It's the best plugin for Google Analytics. So be sure to check out that link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click on one of the videos on your screen now.